One of the world's deadliest snipers has arrived in Ukraine, vowing to fight the Russians as a volunteer fighter. The trained killer, nicknamed Wally, previously traveled to Iraq on his own to fight against ISIS in 2015, The Sun reports. He crossed the border into Ukraine today, leaving his wife and infant son behind in Canada. The 40-year-old was deployed twice to Afghanistan as a sniper with the Canadian Armed Forces between 2009 and 2011. Wally fought in the same Canadian unit as the sniper with the world's longest confirmed kill of 3.5 kilometers. He answered a call on Saturday from Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky, who announced, all foreigners wishing to join the resistance against the Russian occupiers and protect international security are invited by the Ukrainian government to come to our territory to join the ranks of our territorial forces. The sniper, whose nickname was given to him while in Afghanistan, said he was contacted by a friend on Friday who had been organizing neutral convoys of humanitarian aid for several months to bring food to the occupied Donbass region. He told me they needed a sniper. It's like a firefighter who hears the alarm ringing. I had to go, Wally told French-Canadian publication La Presse. He leaves behind his wife and baby son, who will celebrate his first birthday without him next week. I know, it's just awful, he said. But for me, in my head, when I see the images of destructions in Ukraine, it is my son that I see, in danger and who is suffering. When I see a destroyed building, it is the person who owns it, who sees his pension fund go up in smoke, that I see. I go there for humanitarian reasons. His wife, who asked to have her identity kept secret for security reasons, said she reluctantly allowed him to go. I knew that if I didn't let him go, I would have broken him, she said. It would have been like putting him in jail. Wally told CBC that he and three other former Canadian soldiers who made the journey with him were greeted with hugs, handshakes, flags, and photos by Ukrainians after they crossed the border. They were so happy to have us, he said. It's like we were friends right away. He said he crossed over from Poland, traveling against the tide of hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian refugees fleeing in the opposite direction. Wally, who fought alongside the Kurds against ISIS in Syria several years ago, said he had traveled to Ukraine because I want to help them. It's as simple as that. I have to help because there are people here being bombarded just because they want to be European and not Russian. Since crossing into Ukraine, he and other veterans have taken shelter in an abandoned home, ahead of linking up with Ukrainian authorities. Ukraine eventually hopes to build up a reserve unit of up to 10,000 officers and 120,000 volunteers. Wally fought in the Royal Canadian 22nd Regiment, making tours of Afghanistan, Syria and Iraq. In June 2017, one of his comrades reportedly shot dead an Islamic State terrorist from an incredible distance of 3,450 meters. A military source told the Toronto Globe and Mail at the time there was hard data on this. It isn't an opinion. It isn't an approximation. There is a second location with eyes on it with all the right equipment to capture exactly what the shot was, they said. The unnamed sharpshooter used a Macmillan TAC-50 firing a .50 Browning machine gun round. Later, Wally became a computer scientist in Canada. Even for an experienced combat veteran like Wally, the speed at which his life has changed in recent days is still shocking. A week ago I was still programming stuff, he said. Now I'm grabbing anti-tank missiles in a warehouse to kill real people that's my reality now. Before Wally's comrade's record, the world record for longest kill shot was held by a British soldier, Corporal of Horse Craig Harrison of the Blues and Royals. Corporal Harrison killed two Taliban machine gunners at a distance of 2,474 meters with a British Accuracy International L-115A3.
that day for the family, the cleaning day, the working day.